I did not show you guys how this trip started. Let's go check it out. This is Willow Beach. It is 4th of July weekend. And me and some friends and family are gonna go on a three day canoe trip. This is actually the Colorado River right here. And we're gonna put it at the bottom of the Hoover Dam and camp out for two nights along Hot Springs. Um, and we'll be back Sunday. I'm just waiting on the shuttle to get here. I'm about 45 minutes early, so I guess I'm on time. But it's gonna be a lot of fun. Ready to get my feet wet. Let's go. Bottom of the Hoover Dam we just put in, we just launched right here. And we're heading down this way. Yeah. Sweet. This is the first stop. On a cave. This water is really hot. Usually people are sitting in here. Ooh, it's hot. Like, can you feel the heat? Yeah, I can feel it just radiating out. Oh, uh, the water's not terrible, though. You don't want to spend too much time in here to overheat. Yeah. But it goes back like 50 feet. That's crazy. Woo. It's like bad water. Oh, wow. This is awesome. Is there someone in there? This is a hot spring, it's just like bath water. This is the bottom of Gold Strike Hot Springs Trail. We just pulled our canoes up, we're gonna hang out here for a bit and have lunch. And we'll head out. This is where our skull is. 
just got to rest my ears in here. Day two, we're gonna get packed up hopefully before the sun hits our tents and then uh, eat some breakfast and get on the river. There's some canyons uh, that cool up with water. You can hang out in there.
This is awesome. We are getting ready to get back in the boats and go find our camping spot for tonight. And then tomorrow we'll be done in the afternoon. But this is amazing. It's just beautiful. It's really hot. It's probably 105 to 110, but the water is 50 degrees. Oh, what an awesome trip. So where are we camp tonight? Two and a half miles left to paddle. And we have a emerald cave to check out. You're supposed to be, you can paddle into it. And there's another cave, uh, it's kind of a more hidden gem that the guide was on the spot that we're gonna try to paddle into. And then there's an old home site, 1920s home site, which I'm really excited to check out too. So, um, and we'll be back by four. Gager cabin. Um, this trail that we're on right now, we're hiking up to look at the cabin or foundation, whatever's up here. Um, we just passed all those walkways and stuff. This is the same trail. So whoever uh, was the gauger, which I'm not sure exactly what that is, um, something to do with the depth of the water and the river, they would hike this trail. And I think it's like, it's definitely over a mile upstream. And they have to uh, ride a couple cable cars across the river to get to the little gauging station. Um, it'd be quite a job. This was back in the 20s, so I think this was kind of around the time they built the Hoover Dam. What a view. Not a bad place to live. It's 
part of the foundation right here. That's pretty cool. It is hot up here. Oh my goodness. So you can see it down there still. That was where they hiked. You probably, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it is way down there in that narrow spot in the river. But this trail runs all the way over to that spot. Pretty crazy. So this had the front porch right here. cool spot to detect if you could. This is in like need uh, recreation area I believe is what it is. I believe we are still in it up until after Willow Beach. Super cool.